hypothetically live. Um, hypothetically? It's kind of live. Crunchy. Crunchy. Well, we, we in that, it. That's where I just came from. Traffic Crunchy? is horrendous because Crunchy. they're they're rebuilding some kind of bridge highway access or something so they've been digging up the road that leads to the studio for over a year now and it's currently in a phase where if you want to make the right turn out of that road to get back going north which is the direction i need to go home you just gotta hope that the lane doesn't fill up between green lights or you will just sit there forever yes American traffic seems scary. Though I guess that still applies to like Ontario scary. and stuff. Like... Ontario. Ontario. You ever seen a newfie use a roundabout? Yeah. <laughs> a couple times. Didn't end well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Every now and then I still forget that you are no longer welcome to tweet on Twitter. It has been like four years. <laughs> I know. I'm not saying that it's reasonable. I'm merely saying it's a thing that I do. All right. Here we are. There, Is I... Jello talking, Stream asks? He's talking now. Can you hear him? Yeah, they can hear me. He... Okay. Um, so we're here. I have low energy and the menu has no music, so we're not gonna get a better start. If one of you hey. guys wants to at people using the tweet I twat, then I you can do that. I already did. Yeah, but did you let like the discords know? I did. Oh, well, sure. I, I added, I made ads. Hmm, that's on me, my B. Your B. <laughs> what are you doing with that B? So I believe. Uh, yeah, we saw this. Okay. Here we are. Oh, uh, we gotta save him. Oh. Bang, bang. Oh, Shut can... down. <laughs> There's a core in the gun? Bang, bang. It's no use. I can't get the line to work. That's funny. I thought I could use the phone in the past if somebody was calling. What are you talking about? The receiver has to be off the hook first, silly. Damn, this is off the hook. Look. <laughs> Don't look at me, I can't do it. I don't have any hands or feet right now. Somebody please answer the phone. If you want something done, you'll have to do it yourself. Fucker. <laughs> 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 or just let me die, I don't give a shit. Yeah, uh, gonna be a, gonna be a lot of talking in this session. No spoilers in chat, but if you've never played this game and don't know what's going on, feel free to cast your final guesses now. Oh! Hey, we somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Somehow managed? Who's to say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry! Now's the chance to get on the phone! It might be Detective Jowd. Hello? Ah, she's right. I better check it out. Uh, Amy. I, I hope it's the guy from the park. Damn! <laughs> oh, he's blue! Hello! Anybody there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here on the double! Bring it, Jamie. Yeah, I, was, I, I believe you mean hello. What are you hello! Oh! Hello! My apologies. Speak up. <laughs> Why don't you answer? Uh, anyway, come if you're coming. We're leaving. Anyway, Lynn, you can die. I'm just gonna go see what's going on with this guy. I'm gonna save this guy instead. So it must be true what they say, that there are restless ghosts on board! <laughs> Just thespian, it in, in, Amy. <laughs> thespian tier British accent. <laughs> <laughs> that does it! I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom! Mom! <laughs> Mom. <laughs> who is that man? <laughs> oh, who is it? Who? Who? Restless ghost. H Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Picks up phone. <laughs> well, it's true neither one of us is really resting in peace. It looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. Hmm. I guess that means the fate of this sub has changed slightly. Yo, shit, the sub's gonna die, bro. <laughs> but what about the Dom? Sissel has Shh. underestimated What about us. the Dom? <laughs> He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. 
We already saw this, but let's read it again. Oh, oh that's yeah. right, yeah. I love oh! your voice, Pillow. It's really good. Thank you, I love playing this archetype. McBird man. It's Detective Jowd! What's going on there? Sorry, out of the way. I saw this little deal. <laughs> We're in a bit of a mood today. A nice read, Lana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in just a moment, the man in red's about to get his Temsic fragment taken away. What's the joke with Temsic? Like the name? What is Just what that it's Kismet backwards. There's nothing oh. else to it. <laughs> Love this music. Yeah, the the final level music is really, really good. It's yes, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, there's still a track we haven't heard yet. Actually, yeah, there's one we haven't heard next, yet. The is next it yes? Chunk. Yeah. Yummy rock. Now candy. to escape in the egg submarine. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the the Tempsic fragment. Is what I am. Shut the fuck up, I'm acting! <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're mine at last. Let's rub that on my nose. His nose. <laughs> I'll use oh, the ghost trick to activate the radiation, killing him instantly. <laughs> the objection has been achieved. It objection? Is... Objection! <laughs> now we detach the control room as planned. Awesome. No, yes, sir. Farewell, sir. <laughs> uh, beep. Ooh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> beep. Goodbye. Yeah, it really is that motion, isn't it? So, so, what just happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Jowd in it. Don't worry, Lynn. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. Fuck that. The main guy. thing right now <laughs> is rescuing you and the little lady. Sorry. I can't believe this is happening. Now then, I'd better hurry along before Sissel discovers what he's lost and comes after me. The Yanoa will be his coffin. Yeah, that sounds like something Grits would name a submarine. Mm -hmm. May it yeah. lie buried here in the deep sea forever. <laughs> Farewell, Sissel. <laughs> Bro, you're going to pop something in your lungs. I, I don't have Again. lungs left to pop. Oh no. I just got I don't two have lungs the doctor anymore. gave me. My lungs are full of grapes. I did a, um... Oh, I, they're great. I did a sing stream recently and realized that due to long-term effects of COVID, I have even less lung capacity Aww, than I did. Dude. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, oh, aha! Uh -huh. So that's the cause of that giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo! It's like... Well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Hello! Yeah, sure. <laughs> but a different missile comes more readily to mind. Hello! It looks like he plans to sink that submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something before that torpedo is fired! I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. There's no time! It's gonna launch! Don't worry, we can still find a way to stop it! What? How? Even if the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope! Why was the I hope at the end the strongest part of that sentence? I read that, <laughs> I previewed this level a little bit, and the first time I read that, I absolutely read that as, uh, there's something we can do, I hope, in the same way as, <gasps> That's true! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever! <laughs> I'm really something! God. <laughs> Why is there a mouse inside? <laughs> well, I did not remember that. Forgot about this baby. Oh, I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. But was this really the best move? Yeah. We just have to keep it from going off, right? 
I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. This guy's dead no matter yeah, what. Yeah, I was like, yeah, do. he definitely won't just be killed by the impact. How, yeah, how in the world did it get here? I'm right with you, me. <laughs> how many sizzles are in this game? <laughs> <laughs> I think the outs, ooh, I think these outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. Spinning black things, right? Apparently their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights to our advantage somehow. Oh! Oh! oh. Hmm. This looks like just the thing. If we clamp this thing on the fuse, it should keep it from moving. Uh, so what does that mean, exactly? It means we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand all the details, but I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that... Looks like we have to get something out of the way first, huh? What's so <laughs> wrong? Look, Whoa, you... rat power! It's a stubborn little thing, isn't it? Quite a worthy adversary. <laughs> <laughs> this will be really funny in about two hours from now. <laughs> you do know the rat isn't the main focus here, don't you? I'm the main okay, antagonist! <laughs> but until it's out of the way, we can't set the safety device. Mm, you're right. He's racked the missions miss land detected for yeah, minutes. This is fine. I, okay. I just wanted to show off that dialogue because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> in chat, he did arms today. <laughs> <laughs> Like that Nintendo Arm. game? Ain't that the bitch who's reading for Sissel? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's... Oh, right, right. Gotta do it the time. Looks like Jello fucked it up a second time. Not intentionally. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oops. Hope it's okay for them to be at the top. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Looks like Aram fucked it up this time. He who peanut. I thought it was gonna run straight back up where it was. Be like, ah, fuck you! <laughs> Great, we dumped the little creature off. Wow, those weights are heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo. Wow. Now for that safety device. Sorry. <laughs> Doing all right, Doing good. No, apparently. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Well, don't worry. Lynn has a fuck ton of dialogue in this <laughs> shit. Awesome. How? She's dead! Have you played this game? Have you been no, watching? No, I've been watching. Oh, there, okay. we clamped the safety device on. We did it! That should keep this torpedo from exploding. But there's just one problem. Problem? What's that? Oh, right, you still have a gun pointed at you. Nope, something else. The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. I mean, we could have detonated this thing when it was, like, away from the submarine. That would have been I much mean, Yeah, but then I would have been flung to the fucking wild blue yonder. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kablooey. Dead. Kablooey? Ain't that the bear that's always getting mad? <laughs> Never mind. I thought that was the little Australian girl. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats. Now he'll yeah, die now he just has to drown. Yeah, now he's just gonna drown in the ocean. So, so we did it! I mean, I, I guess there's a chance it, like, impacted into the submarine and opened up, but he's still screwed. Mm. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. I've been thinking we about stopped that the rat. torpedo from blowing mm. up. I, I keep turning Danny up, and it doesn't seem to change anything. Oh. We I'm still sorry. opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. You were only like 5% quieter, so I was like, I can fix this, but now I have you at like 150, and it doesn't sound like anything oh. is... Oh, okay, there we go. Hello. Okay, there yeah, I said, I don't know what's going on with this mic, but I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, got it. Oh, um, you're good. Okay. Hmm, you're right. I guess... This is missile. I, I guess that just what missiles do, they're unstoppable. Huh? Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh? I'm worried about that rat. <laughs> I'm, I 
I'm managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. We managed to stop death, death for now, and it has disappeared altogether. No one will ever die again. Perfect. Elden Ring. Y'all ever seen <laughs> Doctor Who Miracle Day? Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Water's seeping in through the hole with a torpedo hit. I gotta get him out of here. Better well, go meet well. up with Lynn. Uh, you don't need to read any of the dialogue. It's, he's just like, I can use the objects that are moving to move around. <laughs> and it's like, we're at the last level. <laughs> do, 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 do. I, Sonic the Hedgehog, can use my feet to run. <laughs> yeah. Explore stages. Encounter enemies. <laughs> Look at the screen. Hear use, sounds. Go use fast. your ghost tricks to trick ghosts. No, that's too interesting already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really can't believe how boring Nintendo pitches their games in their directs. <laughs> Like your uh, I want to go to school. <laughs> Lynn? Camilla! Oh, you're awake. How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Well, don't worry about that. That wasn't you. Who oh, among us can say that we haven't pointed a gun at an innocent and murdered them? Oh, <laughs> Miss Camilla! Oh, Missile! You're here! Oh, poor Miss Camilla. Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. <laughs> I'm so happy everybody's going to be with me now. We die together. Yep. <laughs> Camilla! Miss Camilla! So, is she a honk shoe or a snork me me me? Oh, that's She's a snork dead. me me me. I'll get you out of here. Sizzle, yes. get us out of here. If it's the last thing I do. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. Oh. Poor whimper, as the case may be. I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here before it's too late. I wonder what the range on ghost psychic is. Like how close does a ghost mm. need to be for you to hear their thoughts? Worldwide, buddy. They're just whispering. Well. Oh, look at that flashlight. Oh, it's Sissel! He's here! Up you go. Sissel, can you possess oh. this thing? <laughs> can you individually ghost trick my legs? <laughs> can you individually ghost trick every molecule in my body? Lynn, why are you- why do you wear, like, kinky boots to work? Th That's a like... good question. I'm so glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. Looks like this room's gonna fill up with water fast. We better get out that door as quick as we can. We won't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as the force of the water holding the door closed. The water level get keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Okay, got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. Let me just skim over this ladder here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a, a little... detective. Hey, what's that thing with the lines? Hey, look, a ladder. I wonder if we can get it down somehow. Good idea. Let's try it. Oh, and by the way. Yeah? I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. You city don't, slickers. Don't you have any good news for me? Hmm, let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? I know, Missile will switch the ladder with your DNA, killing you instantly. <laughs> <laughs> she just turns into the shape of a ladder, like when Jerry eats cheese. <laughs> I, like, knowing Lynn's IQ, I thought she was going to look at that ladder and go, Huh, a fence, weird, and then yeah. keep going. Oh, well, why is I it going that a... direction? I guess it's a push, not a pull. <laughs> 
it did is this all thanks. All right. <sighs> oh, I cannot imagine climbing a ladder carrying somebody. Yeah, it's hard. Boots. Aram says, deeply experienced in ladder piggybacks. Mm. She oh, should have died. My God. She should have died. Why did you get off on that side? Well, she she that? tripped because it shuddered. No, she stood on the oh, side. Oh, you mean and just? Then oh, she yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. I guess the lights are off. What was that? Uh, looks okay. like the water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. We're underwater and dying. Huh? Cecil, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are... Maybe the contacts are bad or something? I assume the yeah. contacts between the like bowl electrical. and the circuitry. Oh, okay. Weird. I was like, It is weird huh? phrasing. I would not have translated that that the way. contacts are bad or something. Shit, I wish I had my glasses. Lynn <laughs> would actually look really cute with glasses. Yeah, she would. It probably would be better. Yeah. Hey, I know you can fix it with your powers. Okay, now that's just taking things too far. I can handle a torpedo, but a flashlight? No, no, no. I think he means he's annoyed that he has to do this shit. I don't know why they make you do this. I wonder if there's a pun there in Japan, like Japanese or something that they wanted to set up, but, uh... Oh, hey, great! Did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cruel question, considering the circumstances. Now, all we have to do... That's right, I was an electrician. Can you imagine if that, like, triggered his memory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was some fucking guy. <laughs> Just get to that door, and we're safe. <laughs> well, okay, so much for the dang flashlight. Well. Uh, oh, man. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. Gravity rush. Ooh. Oh, well, oh you're, shit, dude. Well, you're a uh, paraplegic now. Her back is shot. Yeah, no, she should probably be dead. Let's go back to four minutes before oopsie. So <laughs> I had so much trouble with this one when I played it the first time, and I watched a video, and I literally couldn't even see where I had trouble with <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, what was happened? my fucking problem? Uh, I remember this being, like, t the time pressure they really try to get you with, but I don't remember the puzzle being difficult. I, Looks like this... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I think uh, there's some missile switching, and I think I immediately went for the right solution, but, like, went, like, one pixel to the left or something. I was like, oh, I can't reach that. I must have to set something up. And I thought the puzzle was much harder than it was, and I spent, like, 20 mm. minutes looking for a workaround until I accidentally flailed into my initial attempt. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? I tried <laughs> that. That just works, yeah. I can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Damn, me neither. Either we're really lucky or we're dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Oh, I landed on Camilla. She's paced now. <laughs> Come on now, as if the latter could be true. I mean... <laughs> yeah, Camilla doesn't look great. Water! What an unpleasant way to die. It's so funny, I already what forgot now? that she said she can't swim, because as soon as I saw the water rise, I was like, oh, why doesn't she just tread water and ride it up? What it sure is rising fast. Come on. You'll just have to go up, up to the top. See how I can help with my ghost tricks. I Love some... this BGM. Yeah, I have some good news. Well, well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. What up? Sizzle, there you are. How is it going? How is it going? I'd say it was going pretty badly. <laughs> You do understand how dangerous this situation is, don't you? Of course. After all, just ask anybody who knows me how much I hate taking a bath. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. Okay, ready to create a path for these ladies? Of course. He just yells all the time. He's a dog. Oh, wow. This is shaped just like that fish. Ah! It disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I love Missile's ability to just be anywhere. Oh, right. I forgot how games work. Here I go. Uh, I'm gonna do some stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me during... <laughs> don't look at me during the ghost <laughs> trick. <laughs> Why don't you look at me during? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I solved a puzzle, don't worry about it. I believe you. Wow, Jello, you're so good at solving puzzles by yourself. I didn't solve the puzzle that tricked you. <laughs> Maybe it's a challenge? Ghost trick me? Yeah, oh. that's fine. It's... Okay. Give me two seconds. You gotta put the big one on the yeah. bottom, I'm assuming, so it's yeah, like it's stairs. Yeah, staircase. Yeah, I... Okay, literally, so this tiny guy, I remember, mm. I thought I couldn't reach it with missile. And mm. I thought I had to knock it down and get Sissel up there somehow, and I could not fucking figure out how to do that, because you're not supposed to do that. My god. Trick. She just leans forward, takes a piston to the face. <laughs> there, how about that? Oh, this is great! You made a staircase for me! You better hurry. I don't think that water's gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait. Dude. Can't really blame do, her for do, going. Do, do, do. Can't blame her for going slow since her back should be in fucking mm -hmm. pieces. And she can't. Yeah. And she can't fucking see. And, and she's, she's carrying the body. <laughs> yeah. And also, I can't imagine those pistons are exactly like a flat surface to climb. Yeah, no. They're probably slippery as hell. Too. It's okay. It's two dimensional. Everything is, you know. Oh. It's like a Smash Brothers stage. Ah, hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> now the steam is getting in the way. It's too hot to get through. Just close what? it. And there's no way to go around either. Think you can do something? Of course we can. We have to. I give Back up. Too. <laughs> I'll well. swap the steam with the air around you. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo. Jojo be like. Ugh. Pain in my buns. Bungs in my bungs. Come on, bro. <sighs> Alright, I gotta wait. Nope. Hey, you know what I could do? <laughs> it's just... There you go. Uh, we're past that. Sorry, I did... I did many of these. Clearly not enough. Rat. Right. This one? Nope. Dirty World Lynn. Map. Wah, wah. Yeah, it's the start of this section. Damn. Yeah, I uh that's that's the last one, because I'm a clown, oh. so I'll just do that again real quickly. Uh I Hell did not yeah. I did not have time to actually like pass through these and also 90% of this stage is dialogue so I wouldn't have had enough save states even if I wanted to do that. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's go to four minutes before <laughs> Jello <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, chop busted fellow adult. <laughs> chop busted. Chop status busted. Cool 90s show. <laughs> <laughs> Joss Busters. This Mythbusters reboot <laughs> sucks ass. For some reason, I envision Chop Busters is like, all right, can this meat cleaver carve through a bone? <laughs> it's just them Chop trying to He just to hits things. his co-host, killing him instantly. <laughs> Holy shit. Chop Busted. Yup, it can. Now can well, this we've meat... been canceled after one episode. Now can this meat cleaver cut through the bars of a jail cell? Let's find out. <laughs> Missile. Whoopadoo. Missile. <laughs> yes. How are you? Me. Oh, you pretty know good. me. Pretty good. <laughs> this puzzle, easy. Unless you are Jello. Luckily, we have time to go back. In Why don't we reload minutes. our state again? <laughs> Maybe we missed something here. There we go. Gotta get a missile up here. Watch out, watch out. 
You guys can't hear me crunching, right? Oh, very much so. What? I... I've intentionally turned down my fucking game thing. God damn it, sorry. It's fine. Mr. Just mute when you crunch. It's okay, you're just- you're providing the foley for Lynn's bones. There you go. Crunch. Dun -dun. I'll add it to the heap. <laughs> that would be a fun game to voice, though, not to watch play through. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what game? Crunch? What? The crunch I'll add it to the heap is something Minami Moto says in The World Ends With You. Mmm. I thought you were talking about Crunch Bandicoot. <laughs> we all <laughs> Yeah, man, that's his name. We all you know, how, you know how Crash is shaped really weird? He's, like, shaped oblongly. It's the same, just, like, a different skew. Smushed, yeah. Crunch Bandicoot. Bandersnunch. It's it's <laughs> the exact same body as Crash, except the mouth is like on the bottom part this time. <laughs> what? I really don't remember having a problem. You might want to make this. a safe state here in case you fuck this up repeatedly and need okay, more time. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Okay, Bubby. I didn't say that. <laughs> Those aren't words don't, I said. Don't put bubs in my mouth. <laughs> don't put bubs. Don't put bubs in. <laughs> Don't put bubs in my grub. Oh. oh man, dude. Doug Grug was one of the funniest fucking things. I still think about it. It was pretty I see good. him in my dreams. I see him in my dreams! Oh, hush. Hush! Oh, man. This is really embarrassing, because, like, this one I didn't even need the guide for the first time. I was just like, I'll just go up, and now I can't figure out how to fucking do that. Are you able to hit go, like, immediately? I, yeah, there you go. I, I swear to God I'm not that stupid. Swear to God did that and was slamming the button. It just didn't work the first time. It's, it's okay, Aaron Hansen. You're fine. No, You're fine. I fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking oh, did it. Well. <laughs> R R R but these are fighting tip. words. Get in the fucking gear. R R R Raptor. But it also tip. just means you're a funny guy. <laughs> you're funny. You're a funny guy. No, if you were trying to I wish to I could drink it all up for you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is new. <laughs> oh, no, Missile is too salty. Uh, I think the more relevant point is that he's dead, so he can't drink it. Whatever. Just do something about this steam. Leave it to me, Miss Lynn. Oh, thanks, Missile. You were trying to I can always me. count on you when Sissel's being fucking useless. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> gorps that one up, huh? <laughs> I don't deserve this kind of treatment. It's not my fault the emulator drops frames when I'm slamming the ghost button. <laughs> that... There are like three other puzzles where you do need to do that in the back half of the game of just hit, do hit it like trick, immediately, and all of them have that problem on the emulator. I, I have to imagine it's also not made easier by the fact that you have to move a mouse over there instead of just going like tap tap, which you yes. can do really fast with your fingers. Yeah. Trick. No, there is no steam, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I have Epic reduced all of the universe to a state of absolute zero. <laughs> Thanks, Missile. There are only two states of matter! Water! <laughs> and <laughs> dust! Look at this! If I swap the pipes... Oh, it changes how the steam comes out, huh? Well, I get it, because the cracks in each pipe are different, right? So each pipe sprays out the steam in a different way, huh? Bet that'll come in handy. Let's kill Lynn. We don't Great. need to! That will just happen! Oh no, the water's getting really close now! Not that I can s I'll can see all that well with the steam here. Missile will switch the pipes around so you can get across. That's right! Don't give up, Miss Lynn! Your back is really starting to hurt. Probably oh. because you got shattered earlier. <laughs> There. How's that look? Well, it's I don't great. know. I can't. I just told you I can't fucking see. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. All that horrible steam is cleared out the way. Okay, it's not far now. Try to move forward. Moves backwards. Ouch. 
those would oh, yeah, she, she's getting burned yeah well i guess they're half covered in seawater so maybe they cooled enough no they're still shooting steam look up there if i can just make it to that door we can escape where though uh now how in the world am i gonna get up there don't yell at me i read this as don't yell at me don't <laughs> yell at me <laughs> If you want to yell, you can yell at me. Missile? How can I yell at you when you're so sweet about it? Uh, I think you just did. Let's look for something to pull Miss Lin up with. Yeah, something to whisk Miss Lin up and glide her ever so gently to the top with. Hey, are you being sarcastic? You are made of paper. Paper? Just like a ghost. <laughs> Here, Lin, hop in this glove! <laughs> <laughs> With this hook, we can rip out her eye. Oh. That's like, that just feels like the natural thing that would happen to Lin if you lowered this at her in the dark. She would find a way to be like, oh, what's this? The fucking Amelia Bedelia of being alive. <laughs> oh my over god, here. yes. <laughs> uh, Alright, now this is what I'm talking about. Ow, my toe! Oh god, my foot! Her leg just hey, raise falls away. off. God, you'd be so careful. I don't know how she's even as incapable as she is as a detective. I'm like, how in the world are you being this successful physically? Yeah, that must be like how she, she should have been like a gymnast or something. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I can't do it. Open it, hurry. Got any way to ask for something? Oh, thanks. She's for... probably tired. Thanks for the the what well, I don't know what they're called on YouTube. Thanks for the money, Joseph Subi. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's memberships. Ah, or super chats it's also super are another chats thing. Yeah. Is this one? It's no use. I can't <laughs> budget. It must be stuck. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> no! This way! Huh? There she is! <laughs> <laughs> Just a rain of bullets! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Can you imagine if it just quick cut from there? It was like, yeah, I don't know where she went. <laughs> What, what just happened? Can't believe my eyes. Lynn and the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. The submarine continues to sink down, down into the deep, deep sea, but I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. Still want to head up to find a single ray of light. Light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. This is the most Japanese series of sentences yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> Missile is there to help. Save the game? Don't save over your fucking save states, you stupid, stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, 5, 10 a.m. Getting pretty close to sunrise. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go to work soon. The upended submarine continues to sink slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on him. But at the very last second, something saved him. Now it looks down at them quietly. My head's filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? Oh, it's this room. Wait, Lynn, find the grapes! Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see. Get Whoa. it? You huh. get it? Huh. <laughs> I see you managed to survive, detective. Hey, you're... Excuse my appearance. I seem to have lost my body. Hey. Oh, and you there... 
<laughs> like what you see? <laughs> You're the ghost who's been saving Lynn all evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural things happening? You knew? How come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought it, you wanted to get revenge on us. Yeah, but now I have an awesome claw hand, so it was all <laughs> worth it. Give him a claw hand! I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who in the world are you? Sissel, look at you, what happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are? That's right. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am, too. <laughs> oh wow. The I man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. The chat being like making fun of the I can't say. This one I give a pass to, actually. <laughs> Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put you on this pillow right here. Okay, stay there. You know she's dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> they got us good. It's all over for this submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull. There's a hole in the hole. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a <laughs> There's a song. hole in my hole, dear, dear Liza. Liza. Dear Liza. I hate that song. <laughs> it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had a deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Temsic fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah. A meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research, and I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. <laughs> Apparently, there are individual differences in the powers we get. And it seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah. My powers have changed over these past ten years. First, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That does... Oh, that's what does it? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day ten years ago. The wiggle. Hmm. I got hit by a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> a fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart, and I died. So, of course, I receive special powers. Hey, wait a minute! Is that how I got my powers, too? You know, you might be right. Oof! <laughs> oh. Boom, beam, 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 beam. <laughs> Are the Temsic frag rem remnants still right there in that park at the bottom of the crater? You're right. So, that must mean I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation, too. Another effect the meteorite radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. 
So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of the meteorite. One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Oh, this is all so strange and confusing. I, I can't take it all in. It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. Yeah, strange and confusing. That just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. Contradiction, you said. <laughs> what do you mean? Here, take a drink. Oh. That day, when the meteorite fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside of me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital functions stopped ten years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. I'm just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed. Not really alive and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last ten years for me, ever since that incident at the park. My body hasn't aged a day. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. I guess as soon as incision was made, his body would be regenerated. Wow. I was in a play at the time, and my character had this ridiculous haircut. I was so <laughs> excited to get it cut the next day. And for that reason, I spent 10 years in banana-shaped hatred. <laughs> I like your hair. I've changed my mind. Thank this you, Missile. Fun. You are God now. <laughs> I give you my powers. <laughs> Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. Cut my hair. That too. <laughs> I wanted to get the revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So, that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped? He kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know, they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Temsik. Detective Jowd was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanella and that junkyard super, they were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... <laughs> I was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Temsic fragment, and here I am. But they had one more final target. You, detective. Me? Nah, I fucking got you. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't there in the park that day ten years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. So what I'm I'm victim blaming is what I'm doing. <laughs> cool guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> But I was just a little kid playing in the park. Classic tragic hero mistake. Playing in the park when a kidnapper is walking by. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, and you'd become a detective looking into Jowd's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. There was a trap, you see. Look at my dumb hair. <laughs> Can you cut it? Looking for at me? your dumb hair killed me. <laughs> I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago. So Cause I was a child. Yeah, an idiot child. An idiot <laughs> child who happened to be in the park like a fucking fool. So of I course bet you, you didn't even have a job. So of course you didn't recognize me. <clears throat> Yeah.
Yeah, whatever. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I took possession of you to make you shoot me. I love the animation on that. Your subconscious, yeah, your subconscious resisted me. <laughs> Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. I don't know, oh, I mean, the God. Justice Minister, when he got possessed, was going like, like a Muppet, so I oh, feel like I, he was uh, doing no, that I, just, I thought it would be fucking funny, actually. <laughs> to make him do that. The oh, aim, I see. The aim was off, and the first shot missed the mark. Fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh! Jesus Christ! Ow! You shot me! Why would you do that? <laughs> You shot me, just like a little child playing in the park. <laughs> the junkyard was equipped with security cameras for some reason. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan, anyway. A lot of people have compared this shot to how Rick Shades is washed up on the beach at the end mm, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. He does a little bit, true. yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, I'll watch this then. <laughs> but they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. What the fuck? <laughs> That's you. I showed up. Oh, that's me, right. I was supposed <laughs> to meet up with them after that, but then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Aha. The inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. <sighs> that inspector caused me no end of trouble. Why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Tempsic meteorite. Sorry. Because you were looking into the Joud case. They thought you would find out about Tempsic sooner or later. Though Jow doesn't tell anyone anything, so... Honestly, we didn't have to do a lot of this. <laughs> if only they knew who you were and that you would have huh. died on your own in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would have eaten a bad... Uh, so you would have eaten some bad food in the next day or two and you just... <laughs> also, again, chat, no spoilers. Uh, and that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for the water pressure to crush this submarine. No. There are no cores that link from here to the water's surface. Thanks, Harry. I Batista. have an idea. We hook up the phone line and... There are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for this submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. As opposed to the other kind of coffin. <laughs> the one that uses cough drops. There's no I escape. Mean, that Pokemon. <laughs> I actually I like this because like when you when this submarine is revealed you're like that's so extra and unnecessary and then this angle is like oh okay they actually had a deliberate reason for wanting this mm. vehicle. I, I like that he's just like ah, fuck it all right let's just sit down and die together. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these 10 years. You what? This feeling cut off from the world. All alone in a submarine, slinking, sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. No, no, you want to go back to bed, trust me. Huh? Lynn? Camilla? Is it true? We're stuck here? What? Oh, uh... I go back to bed. <laughs> if my dad... If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. No, he'd probably just kill himself. <laughs> you see, I briefly thought about leaving you, which means I'm the one who killed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry! Hmm. That's funny. What is it, Sissel? 
There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all this trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temsic fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why'd they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Um, that's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! Yes, we do! Oh yeah, the tracker bullet, which is insane! I took this off of Von Karma when he tased you! <laughs> <laughs> this will tell us where Detective Jout is! That present from the Inspector in white. That's right. Detective Jow told me to hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in this person's body in the command room, right? Then we should be able to tell where exactly it is with this. I want to know what Aram thinks is the truth before the reveal. Aram's played this game. I've played so this he, game. I, he I already know. So Aram's it's guess not... is correct. <laughs> Even His if we... name is Aram with an M, not an N. Aaron Hansen, part two. Even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us. With our powers, right, Miss Lynn? Wait, Aram's name is on screen. I'm I'm streaming a, a heads up display with all of our names on it. I mean, M and N are right next to each That's other. That's true. I can see it. <laughs> right. Oh, and wait a minute. What about a torpedo? Um, I'm missile. A torpedo. <laughs> In any case, it's way too early to give up. Hmm. Looks like Detective Jowd is our last hope. We're straight fucked. Yeah, I was about to say. I could have sworn at least one person hasn't played this before. Danny Aram yes. and I know this game. Uh, the yes. other Will, three don't. Will, Oz, and Amy are the the uh, ones who will be making predictions. Come on, let's get started. I think uh, Oz had a brain blast. I think that I think scene. Oz has probably got it. Um, I have a, I have a theory, but I'm just gonna watch. Grapes, yes! yes! Oh my god, Yo! they did regenerate! Oh my god! These grapes, they've been frozen in time. No matter how many you pick, they just reset. At least now, we won't go hungry before we drop. Grapes, on. irradiated by the Temsic Fragment. <laughs> Eternal! Torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. You're going to use a missile to ram the control room. I don't know about ram. We don't want to blow Detective Jout up, but something well, like that. We'll climb into the torpedo room too. Up is definitely safe. <laughs> That's the grape trick. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there then. Yo, this twist is really drop grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a great Hello? Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. <laughs> I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. <laughs> they did time magic on a grape. <laughs> And I just turned on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Good thing the torpedo room has backup power, but nowhere else does. Priorities. Right. <laughs> okay, American. let's try it. <laughs> Good luck. Yam is... I hope Yam is getting snacks. <laughs> Switch won't budge. Maybe it's broken? But I don't think the entire device is broken, though. Probably work just fine if I could only move this switch. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, there's no way we could possibly switch these switches. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Ghost? What, do I have to talk to Missile first? Can I not just use his powers? What will happen to these two ladies? They'll die. That's up to us <laughs> and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength, Missile? Me? Of course I will! Count on me! Or it. <gasps> Why I did they eat. make me talk to Missile to do that? Uh, emotional support. Trick. Lost. Weird that the left 
thing opens the right missile. Anyway. Mm -hmm. There we go. That torpedo looks serviceable. Oh, jeez. Thanks for streaming today, guys. I was robbed during the graveyard ship last night, last night and I really needed something like this. Oh. Love you. Uh, I'm oh. sorry that happened. That sucks. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'll sit on this end, too. But something's odd. What is? The command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right. Okay, hop into the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. Are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> I've already set the torpedo's course. It'll head toward the command room where Detective Jout is. Twelve seconds after launching, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window of ugh, will be your window of opportunity to jump to the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just I'm hold on till we get back. Well, Taskmaster. I mean, if it's 5 a.m., it's really not tonight anymore. It's kind of in the morning. You I know, slap you! You know, for once, I will agree with you. 5 a.m. is the next day. Yes! Okay. All right, calm, yes! calm down. Calm down, okay, come on. <laughs> My I need that as a late. sound. Missile? <laughs> I betray. I I'm sorry. I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it! Missile. Baby. I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, so. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. There's only one freak left. It's -a me, the chicken chef! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn? I, you I don't want him to. That's my dog. <laughs> you staying here won't change her fate. But if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen. And that's our only hope. But what if that something doesn't happen? But the miracle never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be able to see you again. Never, ever again. Even I can understand that. I... I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missa. Miss Camilla? I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Miss Camilla! Okay. I lied to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good boy, Missile. I am one up! <laughs> now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw this switch. We're ready. We caught, we intercepted a fucking bullet in midair. I think we can pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil? Yeah? We never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. Uh, it matters to me. <laughs> All I know is, I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And thank you, you Psycho Gaze, for $20. <laughs> you. Also, to be fair, you met last night. Yes. Uh, missile, you can missile. stay, actually. No! <laughs> and I'm glad I met you, Detective. Oh, right, that's me. I was reading chat, sorry. But we're going to see each other again. Right, Sissy? Right, Missile? That's right. We promise, little lady. Of course we will. I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here goes then. Good luck, friend. Oh, it I doesn't to... work. I... Bye. <laughs> I love him. It's like, oh, I went to hug them goodbye. Leaves the missile <laughs> and then <laughs> launches. Thank you, Digi Drive Tamer King J. What did you? Oh, you... this track is good. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. 
I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. I, 12 I, seconds. That's I love almost 12 years ago. <laughs> Ooh, we almost have a thousand viewers. 12 seconds. Yeah, That's whoa. all the time I can spare for you. <laughs> but how can a ray of light, of hope, reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. Oh, shit. I, uh, Whee! I love the setup for the final level. It's very clever. Damn, that guy just went down with the shit. He's, he's uh, oh, well, yeah. I, I guess we don't know yet, but yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I just assumed he was a robot. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of assumed he was a robot He's a robot. Well. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Detective Chowd. I bet that big masked man did this. I'm going to bite him. <laughs> Better not, you might break your teeth. The command room has lost power and it's sinking. So I wonder what this masked man is gonna do. Let's talk to Detective Jowd. He is dead. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. <laughs> Who are you? Are you Sissel? Uh, please excuse my appearance. I can't believe you made it here. You look like a booger. Pray, forgive the discourtesy if my appearance <laughs> offends. How's Camilla? And what about Lynn? Uh, well, it's kind of a long story. 20 minutes later. I told mm -hmm. Detective Jowd about everything that happened on the submarine Yonoa. So the submarine is badly damaged? Why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I'd know the answer oh, to that's, that that's one. me, I think. Oh. I, I know okay. the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You! You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Are you... Yomiel? Whoa. So you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yomiel. That's right. But those people on the Yonoa were calling you Sissel. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jowd? Yes, we've been waiting for this scene for some reason. Right. Ten years ago. <laughs> 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 you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. Ah! Do you mean quantum? Quantum computing? <laughs> I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. Never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then, one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lynn as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jowd, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomiel. Ten years ago. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Dark Souls, you died. 
My body was split from my... Oh, my body was split from my body, which typically happens when you're hit by a meteor. <laughs> and I lost every body. Mm -hmm. My soul was split from my body and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. The video Sanity's game... Sanity's Requiem. Same brain. I existed in this world, no question about that. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a ghosty trick. No time to talk, but nobody noticed my presence. Look at that little girl. I what see it... you. <laughs> what good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. What about the meteor that heals everything? Oh. In fact, that only made it worse. Save the park! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I was hoping so desperately to do that. <laughs> the rock of the gods! I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it's exactly right. Sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? I wanted you to feel the same- I just explained this. <laughs> <laughs> it was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. I don't understand why you felt so alone if you were able to contact human beings. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul. A name, an identity, an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. The blue-suited government, who will not be named. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and their response in the end was betrayal. We know. We were make they were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected, given how much they suck. <laughs> they sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Temsic was all about. And you had no idea they were doing all of this? Not at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of the Temsic meteorite from the park? Fuck, that is a good question. They couldn't. Huh? Protect the rock! Yeah. <laughs> well, that, no. that, yeah. After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country, too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. It's me! Uh, I'm in the rock! <laughs> By Inspector Cabanella and the old pigeon guy, huh? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance? Ah. Oh. That's right, Solid Snake. Just looks <laughs> just looks like an ordinary peaceful park. But there are armed agents there at all times. Oh my god. No. Don't don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain odd person. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> My hair is a grenade! <laughs> if I pull out these strands, I blow up! <laughs> that park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. 
So that's why they couldn't steal a Temsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure the Temsic meteorite. So that's it, huh? It's weird they left a... Yeah, I was gonna say, better question is why didn't our country's government just take it and store it somewhere Indiana Jones warehouse I mean, style? Even, even before you knew it was a special meteorite, it's still a meteorite and it's only like three feet underground. You think they would have yeah, like, dug like it rad. up? Yeah, that's like would have. Scientists like, would have been like, ooh, museum. They were like, fuck that. It's a boring meteor. Keep it there. Also, <laughs> don't remove the crater. <laughs> yeah. So, the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yeah. It's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. What? What good will that do now? But we promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them! We can't do that without you, Detective Jowd. Oh, me to me? I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. All right, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go, then. Back to four minutes before your death. Oh, yo, is this a grape? <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> Warden Grape Throat. Origins. Warden Grape Throat? <laughs> Don't, oh, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, where are we headed? Gone. <laughs> Joker, my <laughs> man! We are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away, Detective. We will run out soon, and that will be our destination, Detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here, too! Oh. Oh, fuck. By the way, I am not human, Detective. But I am ballin'. Get dunked <laughs> on. I am a remote-controlled robot detective. What? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. Why would you go to all the trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith! <laughs> yep. That's Likes his to name. provide against any possibility, no matter how small, Detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There is no need for you to know, Detective. <laughs> Ballin, but soon. at what cost? <laughs> Poof. Oh shit! Whoa. Oh my god! I mean, yeah. Now, it is time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. Uh, Camilla, forgive me. Oh, ah, oh, damn! Oh. Headshot! Ow, Ow, just my um, leg! I fucking missed. It isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what that big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning this situation around. Like a turnabout? <gasps> huh? <laughs> what is it, Detective? Look at Yomiel's shell. Oh, come on, man. Let the let the player grab it by themselves. I know. Ugh. There's no aura emanating from his body. He's become less stinky. <laughs> of course there isn't. I've become less stinky. This change in his shell give us some kind of lead? Come on, man. That's lame. That's, so, that's too much of a giveaway. That sucks because I love this, this moment. I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is that they're afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the, thanks to the power of Temsic. His body cycled between the moments that separated his life and death. Right. But not anymore. The Tumsuk Fragment was taken away. Exactly. So, what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Tumsuk Fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. 
So let's see. That means oh, we I can see. go back. Back to four minutes before your death. But wait a minute. Exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out. When we get there, let's move! Oh, you're not coming. <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's too bad they just, like, point that out. It's stupid, because yeah. there's only, like, six things to investigate in the room. So, like, what else would you even be doing? And also, if you see a gold core, you'd be like, wait, why? What? Yeah. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever. <laughs> and I saw it. The final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. I'm a no bullet. No spoilers, chat. Yep, remember, no spoilers, chat. Be good. Yeah, I, I love that you actually get to jump back in time and undo the death that started everything. Final chapter. Do, 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 do. When was Yomiel's death? It was 10 years ago when the Temsic meteorite fell. We traveled back through time and now we're here, the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. Oh no, she's got ear pods in! <laughs> Dude, are you starting a fire? Oh, she's baking. Oh, she's it's ready! Yams. It's a yam! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> fire down, man. Don't fire into the air. Yeah, Give it up! Just... Do you really think you can outrun me? Bullet hits a plane. Unfortunately for you, there was a stupid child. God, <laughs> Lynn, Lynn is just out immediately. It's the standard female grab area, man. You're uh, right. Female powering down. down. Now, just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I, I mean it. I am. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoot, you might get hurt. I thought about kicking that kitten. I'm a monster. <laughs> no, not the bullet. I love how they render the meteorite. It yeah, looks so yeah. Really cool. Fuck. Ave Maria. Can we get the sound effect, Danny? <laughs> Discord ate it. <laughs> no, I did. Oh, fuck. Here, do it again. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we got it. Chat, I no, the move. yam. <laughs> You're all right now. Are you hurt? Oh. You, you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? God. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm a police detective. What's a detective? Your career well, path I'm... isn't horribly sexist, is it? I think I might go down that way. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Uh... So, that's a Temsic meteorite, eh? That's me. It's. I'm so. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so yeah, used no. to this being Aram. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, fair. It's. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Some just fell behind me. <gasps> Sissel, is that you? <laughs> uh, it's beautiful looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temsic from falling from the sky, but we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. No. Mm. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jowd? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteor fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. Yeah, but it's still better than our current present, my dude. Mm -hmm. We might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. 
No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. You're a bro. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. I'm here too, by the way. Let's get Lots this of crazy party shit starty. Yeah, no, we, uh, I believe we need Missile for this puzzle, so it's a good thing he's here. Man, Baby Lin is really cute. Yeah, mm -hmm. Baby Chicken. Baby Chicken. Oh, that's funny. Even in the past, she's got a core. I wonder if that's because she, no, it wouldn't make sense. No, it's her head bones, I, I think. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, that's oh. Right. it's not colored oh, the way. Uh, oh, that was yellow. That's weird. Oh, was it? Oh, maybe it was. No, they just like, they the... just don't. Oh, she she's yellow. Her little shadow thing is yellow. Oh my god! <laughs> Bullet Maybe comes down, and kills him. <laughs> she just goes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so the sweet potato can swap for a bullet, I think, right? No. Although, uh, no, we, it I just believe... happens to have. <laughs> ah, damn. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Let's see, we've got a basket, nozzle, nozzle. Okay. Have you checked what you can uh, sizzle trick yet? I, I guess haven't... you can't get very far with him. I don't think he can reach very, like, anywhere much. Let's mm. find out. Fear be real quick. <laughs> I I wouldn't go too far, Oz. We're, this is not a long level. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go pee real quick. Okay. I can turn these up. Ah! What are you doing? You're going to hurt poor Miss Lynn's ears! Sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really should. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. Like I know how much this girl loves her food too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. She's gonna die faster. Dun 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 dun. dun you're fucked now. Dun 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 dun. You're gonna die. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun dying. Dun, 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 dun. Ghost. Trick. Trick. I can examine this sweet potato. Oh, can you like knock over the the sweet potato basket? What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you even, you even forgot what sweet potatoes are? It's a roasted root vegetable. It's good. There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious. <laughs> These guys sure are making me want to try one. Let's uh take a break to try some sweet potato. What? Oh, missiles in there. You can get the fuck out of there for a hot second. Oh, um, please would be cool. <laughs> All right, get the fuck out of there, please. Thank you. It makes sense why they didn't want to like introduce new mechanics right at the end of the game, but I thought it would have been really cool if they had somehow designed a puzzle where you also needed to use Yomiel's power and like yeah, directly I agree. control that's, one of the people. That's what I thought was gonna happen. I was yeah. getting all hyped. Uh, That's what I kind of assumed as well. Trick! Oh, are you gonna launch a fucking sweet potato? If it would hurry up. Wee! Wee! Oh, you know what? I think I needed Cecil to be in the sweet potato because I'm gonna need to activate this one. Oh, the. the... I'm back. Oh. Well, see, see where its trajectory goes? Yeah. Okay, never mind. It's in there. Hi, hi. Ooh, look at that sweet potato! That big, scary sweet potato! That, that's not a sweet potato missile, that's Mino. Oh, right, of course. Mino, remember? <laughs> oh, but, yeah, look yeah. At <laughs> but look at them, the potato and Mino. Right now, they both have the same shape! saying you could swap them, huh? Good idea, Missile. Okay, here I go, and I'm going to need your help. My help? Wish hard enough, or Missile will die! <laughs> what? You fucking- Donate now to what? save Missile! Yeah, I, I think I do need Sissel in there, because I need him to mm. launch the thing up. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Dun, 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 what? Dun, 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 what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> So fucking funny. 
Whoa, that took a turn. Trick. Whee! Woo oh, sure. I hope a sweet potato doesn't save my life. I don't know why I'm hoping that. Oh, oh I think you might have missed it, what actually. The, what in the goddamn? Yeah, it is stupid. I absolutely hate that. Man, but, what's, what's the point? But fate refused to change. Oh my god. <laughs> you really I fucked that you. one up? <laughs> no, Miss Lin is gonna bite the big one. Bite the bullet. What? Oh. She could have just. Hey, all right. Bit. So there, it just ate my press on Ghost again. I'm not bad at video games. I'm not Aaron Hansen. I swear. Don't look like Chicken Little. He's a coward. He's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get? Are you able to get missile into the sweet potato? Yeah. Okay, phew. I thought it might be like just. Man, you know when you're gonna get shot, but then you get yammed? <laughs> Lol. Constantly. I can't like believe that. this. I've been yammed by my own children. <laughs> yeah, that looks safe. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, look, the lamppost is bending. But it hasn't broken yet! It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It just might need, might hold out for a little longer. If I recall, the Temsic fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in its way... Then fate should change! And instead, it'll kill both of them! Yeah, I'm a, a little... I'm just gonna save state. I'm a little concerned since uh, I don't just get a free end state. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think I remember how this ends. I think this is correct, but I guess we'll see. This is all I remember. There might be one more step. Whee! There, how's that? Look, the fragment's course. It changed a little. Now Yomiel's fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? In its path? No! Whatever. Oh, it's just his My leg. dick! Right in the dick! <laughs> I'm an active child. Temsic fragment shot through his leg. What? And you're to blame. But the cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Come on, put it down. Huh? Child, put the gun down, now! If you don't, you're going to shoot him! I don't know if it's his detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! No! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! Yes, let's go, Missile! Missile! Bullet stopped in midair! I'm here, inside the bullet! Now, let's swap it with something. What? With what? Yam! Detective Jowd, the meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. Not really, but okay, no. we won't let you become a murderer. Yeah. We have to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. We have to stop Detective Jowd being a fucking emo one last time. I don't there think we're gonna- We can't save him, he's already a cop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> there must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. Oh, look, another bullet. <laughs> a bigger bullet. Yep. Oh. But yeah. Do, how do I? Yeah. I can't do I... anything. My. Buttons... Well, I got to say, I really. It's because you're sizzle, aren't I, you? My buttons are gone. No, he, yeah. he's missile right now because the world is green. Oh. Oh. All right. Sorry. I I did think I was sizzle actually. Oh. Okay. You know, I really didn't expect Yams to be so prominent at the end of the Oh year. my oh! god! Oh no, we stopped the bullet, but we still couldn't save him. That's not true. Hmm? My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed. 
but I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. <laughs> okay, so your fate of death has changed, but still, this fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. For real? But we were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still slowly turning. Jad shoots him again. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look out! Wake up, you gotta get out of there! I'll have to wake her up somehow! Bang! Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> bang, 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 bang! <laughs> Lady Makaya! <laughs> Damn it, my leg won't work! It's all over! We're out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not over yet! But there isn't anything else to swap with! Why don't we just let it play out and try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse, and then you can do her, do her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain like a scar on her psyche. I, I respect that you think that. That's, like, very cool of you, except you know Lynn, and you know she does not care. <laughs> on the other hand, he knows Lynn when she's ten years older than she is right Whatever. now. Whatever. <laughs> I won't let that happen, not if I can help it. But what can we do now, even if we work together? Oh yeah, I have ghost trick powers. I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Cecil and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Oh, that's me again. With three- sorry, I'm so <laughs> no, used to it good. being Aram. With three kinds of powers among us, we, we ought to be able to fight this battle. The battle against the fate of death. Yomiel. Cecil, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me, let's go! Alright, I'll try to move there. I can't, I give up. Now gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead, though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all! And remember, you only have a split second. Okay, now okay. do it! Got it! Wh 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 what? That's still me! Now it's your turn, Missile! What? Um, me? But what can I do? Buddy, you gotta keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know the answer to that. Oh, okay, got it. Why was there dialogue there? <laughs> you can swap them. You oh can my swap God. objects yeah. in this new Nintendo game. All right, yeah, we got it. But if I swap them, they will be different. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. It's no use. We can't stop the horrible Mino. What can we do now? I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, well, it helped all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn. Okay, so they, they don't really let you play it, but they do... They do this, okay. Yeah, they should have started it from this section. Mm -hmm. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean? That's right, I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Ugh. Ugh. Oh yeah, you can see the patch of blood on the back of his thing. Oh. Man, eh, he might live. Ye gods. The Rock of the Gods! <laughs> Get out of here. You don't even exist yet. <laughs> I'm two years old. The Rock wow. of the Gods! Ooh, 1,100 viewers. I think that's a record wow. for this channel. Woo! Welcome. Welcome. Hello. You're awake. Please help me. Oh my god. <laughs> don't turn her around, dude. <coughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay, mister? No. <laughs> huh? No. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit. But the main thing is that you're not hurt. <coughs> <coughs> hey, 
Hey, <laughs> Yomiel, shut up! <laughs> you, you saved me, mister? No, by no metric no. did he save you! I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. Bro! What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a do- Oh! 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 Is he dead? Oh, Jesus Christ! Do you think you can go call the police for me? I'm okay. scared. Hello! No, uh, another this police officer. Now <laughs> <laughs> cell phone rings. Fuck. I think you could do it quicker than I could. I always fat finger the nine. This oh, is a banana. What's that? This is a this is a detective's badge. We give them to children who have been very brave. A detective's badge? I I know this is supposed to be a sweet moment, but like we have seen nothing but gross incompetence and sexism <laughs> from the cops in this in this thing. Yeah. Okay. You know what to do, little detective. Shoot you. Run through the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Better plant yeah. some cocaine here. Yeah. <laughs> Just okay. ever suck shit, idiot. Are you alive? Yeah. Sadly. <coughs> Hang on. Help's coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? Oh my god, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see. Meanwhile, you shot me! <laughs> no! You know, I'm glad it happened. Oh my god, my legs are liquid. I found my yam! <laughs> hey, mister? I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? Oh, dude, that's rough. I don't know. I think it's unconscious. That's funny. It doesn't look like it's injured or anything. I'll try shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little kitty. How about if I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Bro, you need to go to the hospital. Right? Well, looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. These long, These long oh, lonely go ahead. ten years. You were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? <coughs> Old friend. What? Oh. I think... I think I finally remember. Chat, that's why he's always abusing rats! Yeah, it's literally <laughs> foreshadowing! <laughs> Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. That's it. That's the ghost trick. It is. That's the ghost trick. That is the ghost trick. There's actually one more ghost trick, though. <laughs> and this is why he doesn't know how to read. It's why he doesn't know anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I knock shit over? My rats are the <laughs> oh, formidable let's... foes. Kit Aaron, <laughs> let's hear your baby kitten voice. Somebody, please look at me. Aww. Oh, no. Bye, Huh? Oh, a kitten! Shoot! You might get hurt! So this is the first timeline. Yeah. Oh. Somebody, please reach out a hand to me. Just a little guy. 
certified little guy. I just only died at the, I only just, I don't know. I just only died this time. I think that's wrong. <laughs> I had lost everything. My life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I still managed to reach out a hand to him. Cat. The next thing I knew, my soul had transferred to the black kitten. No recollection of who I was. I lived as a cat with you for a while. After a while, the man regained his memory. No, this is me. Oh, sorry. After a while, the man regained his memory. I went back to just being a cat. And then the man got his body back. Meowst, meowst trick. I took my body back from the morgue. It was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomiel. The man named me Sissel was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects. But then, after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted, artificial light. When I got my revenge on Lin, I could I would see that light. Or at least that's what I tried to believe. Yeah, I believe Oz got it. <laughs> no. I left my old self buried in that way in the junkyard and walked away. Black cat. I was possessing Sissel then. Wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away, after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend? Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? Yeah, we, we got it. I wasn't able to control her completely. That first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel, inside that bag. Yeah. Yes. That's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temsic radiation. And that's when I got my powers of the dead. My ghost tricks. I 
think I understand it now. I adore Sissel's real portrait, by Thank the you. way. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Why was I, why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back? It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, do you remember what she said? That you knew all along about me saving Lynn tonight. If you knew, why didn't she try to stop me? Maybe I wanted someone to stop me. It's simple. <laughs> because I couldn't. Even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences and the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things, from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things you can do that I can't. Oh, you mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that, but I never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. But, but you're here ten years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of his entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. The fate of your death. The kitten Sissel's fate. And I can just bet you the fate. And I can just bet. I just bet you I the fate of the you. woman you I can you just love. bet you. Bet you is cut yeah. together. Got it. Bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Yes. I believe you're right. That's so, yeah. this was the last fate to be averted, huh? Fate averted! Chance time! Chance time! <laughs> New record! So, Yomio. It looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes. And I'm glad, too. Hmm? Tell me why you're glad. I can't tell you that right now. I think I kind of understand now. Oh, no. This is Lynn, actually. At Danny. Oh, Danny might be mute. Oh, no. I think I understand now. What well, you've been feeling these ten years. Sorry, my husband came in the room to tell me something. Oh, no worries. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. It's like my ultimate writing pet peeve. I can't get over it. Darkness. <laughs> well, guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later was just born. Right. We should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again. So, these past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. Hmm? The memories of all of us here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way this game of the dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her, if only my arm could bend. I have <laughs> no intention of running away from that either. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Cecil. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It'll be like we never met. So, before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own two hands. I'm truly sorry. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now. Right, Yomiel? Thank you, Cecil. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yomiel. Sizzle? Are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't! Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. Just have to wait until then. Sizzle, I'll... I'll never forget you! 
I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jow. They never adopt missile because it doesn't work well with cats. I was gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> we all witnessed the birth of a new beginning. And now we're each going back to our own new present. We said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. I think this is missile? Wait. Wait. Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. I think this oh. is Ray. Maybe. Wait. Let's find out. Let's see. Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. Yeah, it is uh, Ray. Oh, yeah, it is. Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray, in case you've forgotten again. Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. So are you ready for the best twist in the game? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm this is really what I fucking think grateful. it is. I'm really grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know, how exactly are you? Fair enough. I will tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. Chat, no spoilers. No spoilers. You changed the fates of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. Well, his too. Let's be real. He disappeared, I'm fine. bro. Oh, okay. If you'd not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. He cannot idiot. change this. <laughs> After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. Wait, no way. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> They stole the wooden box from the ceiling, hiding place from the hiding place and left. And in the process. Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw toward his mistress. And that's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that! The powers of the dead! But how? He didn't really understand it himself. Not yet, anyway. But, with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. That's right. He died inside the aura of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little friends. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. What? He decided... 
to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. If it takes forever. <laughs> and that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these 10 years to be retold. So, that was you, huh? That's right. I'm Missile. That's the ghost tree. <laughs> Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own. So you decided to wait those ten years out. Exactly. And then, at last, that fateful night rolled around again. I love how you're doing it. <laughs> I, I debated for so long if I wanted to tell Will early for acting reasons. I'm like, no, Will Will gets to experience this twist in real time. Yeah, I didn't know about this one. By this time, I had grown old and my powers were weak. So I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. You were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened. But I became able to manipulate small objects. B but in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do. Like travel through the telephone lines, for example. It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before. On that night, the first time around. We what? We met before? From listening to the conversation of the two intruders in the apartment, I learned that Miss Lin had lost her life at, the at that junkyard on the edge of town. I followed the ghost world path to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there is, there in the darkness, a <laughs> twisting and, oh? <laughs> Just Twilight Zone. Imagine, Twilight if, Zone. You will, there Imagine in the dark, if you will, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp, illuminating a place known as the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> a twisting and swiveling desk light lamp. It made my first stand on end, I can tell you. That was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time, too. You had just died, and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? So I killed you again. I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said to me. And then you disappeared away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that, this time, I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomiol. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. Oh my god. A time limit? I was gonna say. That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. 
and the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have all been over. I was gonna say, how did he wait ten years if he only had one night? <laughs> then you mean that thing about ceasing to exist? <laughs> oh, that completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. But I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh, boy. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. <laughs> that was the ghost trick. So this is a game about two pets saving their masters over and over again. Oh. And, and now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile. I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited and waited these ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, huh? <laughs> of course. Because that's what doggies do. <laughs> now then, farewell, Sizzle. Yeah, I was I was waiting to point this out. Someone in chat's been saying it. Sissel saves exactly nine lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's, so cool. like, that's cool. Oh, that just auto played. Made my way back, back to a new present. I never noticed the nine lives thing. That's very funny. Mm -hmm. And five of them are Lynn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I don't remember if it's nine lives or it's, I think it's nine people. It's probably it's nine, nine people. different people. Yeah. Yeah. But it would be funny if literally <laughs> more than half. Uh, I think this is Jowd. I'll just turn on the lights here. This is, this is the... Oh, oh no, never mind. Oh, no, it's not! Oh, no, she's gonna get shot! You bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. Good! Whips out a pistol. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> no, Camilla, I wasn't surprised. We both retained our memories from the previous timeline where this was a horrific mi reminder of your mother's <laughs> accidental murder. Why did you I, reconstruct this here? I think I think only Jowd, uh, the missile yeah, sizzle they, and... Yeah, no. Uh, I think you're right, but it's really yippee, funny. Yippee, it worked! <laughs> but it's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made this surprise for her, but it came out so well, I wanted to use it again. That, that's all right, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Really? Oh, thank you, Detective Chowd. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. Uh, she was just assigned to detective division today. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Uh, is something wrong? You have one of those badges, too? Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you going to keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, this is the symbol of a real detective. It's been 10 years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? When you gave this bat, when you gave me this badge, I just knew. Who would have guessed? Oh, I certainly <laughs> never had faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. <laughs> that you will. That you will. Probably dead. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're the same little kitten. That's right. The very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's ten years old, but he's still a kitten. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Sizzle's immortal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still That's a kitten? So funny. Yep. He never 
Oh, and they better, were like, right? oh, he's limping. I was like, did he get hit with a fucking meteorite fragment in this timeline? <laughs> I didn't remember that. That's so funny. Wow, what a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel? Hmm. It seems to me I've heard that name somewhere <laughs> before. Schrodinger's cat. Yeah, that's the huh. thing. It's also Schrodinger's cat. Oh, wow. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Oh my god, I didn't know she had a sprite. Uh, Yam doesn't have any characters who are going to be in this <laughs> setting, so... All right, everyone. Let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom! I don't remember her showing up, either. Damn, they really did that sprite for one fucking line of dialogue. Hats off to them. Cats off. Cats off to them. So now you know the twist. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is Lynn? Oh. I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow, too. And so we meet again, Sissel. Sissel. I'm just that single night as a human. I got a glimpse into their world. I learned something. I can't fucking read. Their lives... <laughs> <laughs> Their fates, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now, this is my new fate. Oh, he's still eating that chicken! chicken. <laughs> I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. Utakumi! That game is great. Why is he still bad at writing? <laughs> it's... <laughs> well, I can't... Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> boy! Oh my god, it was so high FPS for some reason. It's gonna be auto-playing, so go. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn. Oh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. This dog's peeing on my shoe. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. <laughs> Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, so everyone... Ah, the <laughs> air. <laughs> the Olive Garden of Eden. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Missile, Spaghetti. Good buddy. Somebody touch a my spaghetti. <laughs> and it's uh, it's still gonna keep going, so be be ready whenever your epilogue characters pop up. When when oh, I need <laughs> to pee a gallon. I'm gonna do that now and hope that no one shows up for a bit. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? But definitely not good. Maybe now I can be a great detective, just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example is the inspector providing for his men? Mm, I love this game so much. This was great. This is the best Shu Takumi game. Yeah, hands down. Here's your food, gentlemen. Screw Freak. Memory, what are you doing here? I heard you were going to be picking new members for the Special Investigation Unit today. So you took on a part-time job here again just so you could snoop? <laughs> no shirt, no shoes. Oh, you have no idea the lengths I go to to reach my goals. Bang! Bang, bang, bang! Is that a threat? Bang! <laughs> Good job on the character animation, holy shit. Yeah, yeah no mm -hmm. kidding. Yes. Nom, 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 nom. Lilila, I've never cooked this way before. So exotic, so exciting. This chicken. <laughs> Turmeric, coriander, cumin, and fenugreek. I didn't read the rest. It's really necessary, this new curry chicken menu item. Oh, but, the be but our very best customer requested it. Now something else is hard to read real quick when you're singing. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is his very best customer anyway? Ah. Oh. Sausage man! 
Oh, I'm back. Welcome back. Good job dodging Sausage Man's reappearance. Yeah, no, no, I got here just in time to see the human thumb, I'm afraid. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that guy. Yeah, this game's style is off the charts. Are you sure we really need all these explosives? Not to worry, Beauty Madea. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Okay, um. hey, you might want to leave. Bye. Oh, wait a minute, 20 kilograms? I thought it was 20 grams. They died. Oh, no! Why do one you other, wiggle that way? One other small, <laughs> small gripe with the uh, the plotting of this game is that those two just leave and never get resolved. Mm, yeah, they yeah. just leave, and I I wish, I kind of wish there was some deeper reason that beauty is just psychic. But like, what are you gonna do? So this is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all that you could give me? You must have heard some juicy stories. The in indiscretions of, you know... And no, no, must it all... To the stodgy mind of my darling husband! You oh, suck, heart attack! <laughs> I think uh, if they had just thrown in one throwaway line to confirm what I assume to be the case, which is that... She was, I assume, recruited to be part of this mission because of her weird, yeah. like, ESP. Mm. If she had just said that, I'd be like, okay, like, it doesn't explain this why you This deal is going quite well. Oh, I must say, these grapes drop, my good man. The Genoa is about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be prepared. Yeah. Goodbye. Keep it together, man! You're trying to give me a case of the ravens. I believe I nearly died of fright just now. I, uh, I wish, I think it would have been nice if Beauty was the person on the submarine who called the phone line and was like, we're getting the fuck out of here, rather than some yeah. random guy. Even just, yeah, just one little appearance to be like, yeah, they either died or lived or whatever in the original timeline. Yo. Love, peace, and pigeons! Long live rock and roll! Can't believe no one bothered to get this thing. <laughs> gonna sweep my lollipop. <laughs> the pigeon is actually the secret fourth ghost tricker. <laughs> oh, squad! <laughs> oh! Stop the part from charging admission! Protect the rights of those who live here! Like me! Man, you're just hey, homeless, you huh? Hey, hey! Th no, they shouldn't charge admission to a park. No. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. literally forgot about them. Today's the day, you know. He's finally getting out. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Then let me show you a new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomachache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. Oh, I'm real interested in that one. Then you can show me, say, next week. You got it! Oh, oh he's fucking schmoovin'. Holy shit, lord, dude. I'll say one thing I didn't remember that I that was kind of peeved me this time was I didn't remember Jowd being such a fucking unnecessarily fatalistic sad sack the whole game. Yeah, all the, like, all I, the... I know we like harped on it for humor, but like, yeah. No, it's, really... it's genuinely quite bad. Uh that's all the all the negative Shu Takumi aspects were poured into just Jowd and a little bit Lin, honestly. Yes. I, I mean Overall, though, while those are flaws, I don't think they detract from. Oh no, this game's part. great. Yeah, yeah, no, like in comparison to the other Shudakumi games that I have experienced, this is the one where I'm like, yeah, games can have problems, whatever. This still gets like what I would review as like a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten. Yeah. Quite frankly, this is it's a nice length. It it does its little gimmick. It moves out. It's a fun little story. Good twists. Like it's just great. Yep. So the uh, the twist I've never seen before that I've mentioned a couple times is just you were a cat the whole time. 
<laughs> Aw. I think the... Yeah, there. I, I don't know oh. which of... Uh, Ten long years, Yomiel. Your time's it's fucking... She's coming. She's here. So yeah. Never mind, I'm standing here. Hmm. This is the picture of the cat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cecil. Oh yeah, I guess he's the other one who remembers. That's um, nice. of the of the significant twists, I think the them the cat and and missile are both great. It's it's not as rare, but the one that got me the hardest was the slightly earlier one of just oh the Aww. entire time I yeah. was incorrect about who I even was mm -hmm. because of a mistaken assumption from my imperfect information of the crime scene. Like, lots of stories have, like, amnesia or mistaken identity and stuff, but that way of setting it up was unique, Aww. I felt. Aww. I love uh, it. And I'm here too, baby. Baby. Where's the mom? I'm Jam's mom. Oh, that's yeah. a good question. It's, uh, it's a polycule. We don't we don't worry about it. Oh, we didn't like Alma that much. The end. Cabanella and Jout make out. <laughs> Cabanella can do better. Definitely. Yeah. Man. Yeah, no, Half that's times. just a great game. That's the so, ghost trick. Calm. Yeah. So I was almost right about the twist. I expected Sissel to be a rat. <laughs> oh, that would have funny. also been very I was funny. Like, did, yeah. I was like, oh my god, she shoot a junkyard rat that was standing next to Yomiel. Is that why things are fucked up? But yeah, I so, would uh, yeah. almost. <laughs> I would give you that. That's essentially like mechanically that is the same setup. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I was like, is that why there are so many rats? It's the ambient rat affinity. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean rat affinity. There's so many little good things. Like the first major one you get is Sissel not knowing what science is and yeah. like not being able to read and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, like how yeah. they kind of, I like how they slowly build it up so it starts out seeming just kind of like a joke, but like there's more and more inexplicable, you know, none of the other ghosts forgot basic facts about the yeah. world. There was all I, and, yeah. and, I really... Yeah, I noticed that too, which is also why I was like, I bet he's a rat because that's why he doesn't fucking know anything. Real quick, Rats I'm just gonna just gonna do this so there's music in the background. Sure. Um, and, and you know, you get that in the prison level. There was something we called. I was like, haha, that's funny foreshadowing of like, um, fucking. Uh, <laughs> he's like looking at the prisoners activity calendars or something and he's like i wonder what that guy's like dreaming about i bet he's dreaming about like eating and and sleep and like sleeping in a warm place or something yeah. like that like <laughs> it's you know life aspiration <laughs> when you when you watch this back there are so many hints that sissel's a cat so also someone in chat was like I don't get it. Didn't the cat hop out of the bag? How could he be dead? Because Yomiel was controlling his corpse. He just didn't realize Sissel was dead at the time because he can control living and dead bodies. So it mm -hmm. doesn't make a difference to him. Um, That's gotta be me. Do you see any other dead bodies around here? Yep. It. The reason, the core reason this game um, is just so much better than all of Shu Takumi's other games, including the good ones, is uh, twofold. And one is, he definitely like wrote out the concept for the twists and then wrote backwards from them. Whereas by his own admission in the art galleries of games that he's written since, like the fucking Leighton one and the Great Ace Attorney, he was flying by the seat of his pants in those. Yeah. And therefore mm -hmm. character motivations don't make sense once you see the story at large and look back on it, which is bad and makes the mystery bad. But in this one, even the stupid things characters do, you're like, I mean, I guess that is what you were doing, even if it is stupid. Like it all works and it yeah. all ties to, it's very like, there's no characters who didn't need to be here for some step of this chain set up also. Like, there's no I think there's there's little side characters you could trim like you don't need the justice minister's wife and kid to have a stage you like 
the chicken kitchen guy, like, you can imagine ways in which you could further economize this, but you don't need to. There aren't a lot of extraneous people who are just, like, there to waste time. I, I think you do need the, you do need the justice minister's family because you have to, like, uh, it's him who's doing the execution order and proving that his daughter is alive and fine is part of that. And the mom is there to not let her go out and talk to the dad, because otherwise... Why wouldn't a dad be able to talk to her daughter? Like, there is a mechanical explanation for, like, every character, which I appreciate. Um, for I think lack Aram's of point is that you could write around that and just not have that element at all to economize it, but the fact that it's there is not really a big deal. Yeah, it's fine. The, for lack of a better term, there's no case three in this game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's no extended segment where it's like, oh no, if the chicken kitchen doesn't get all their orders on time, something largely inconsequential will happen. I'm gonna spend a whole level just ensuring their chicken service is flawless. Yeah. Um, I will say, the the twist with Ray, I did not expect. I yeah. expected Ray to be like a previous Sissel from another timeline or something. That's why he like right. knew everything about his powers. Um, and I, I figured that the time limit was also fake as well, but the fact that it was missile the whole is, time is yeah, like, oh my god! Really cool. <laughs> I I thought I was being I thought I was being oh so clever, right? In that when we are right at the beginning of the game, and I was like, oh, um, yeah, no, uh, you know, Jello, good of you to give Will uh, Ray so that he has a character in case we don't get to missile tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Very yeah. So I I had actually heard about the cat. I mm. heard about yeah, that. Yeah, I knew I about knew, the cat, but that's all. But I never knew about Missile and Ray. No clue that was the 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 twist. I think the other reason, like you almost don't need the extra layer of Ray. You could have slightly altered the beginning and had the story work without a, that extra layer. I think on reflection, the reason the Ray element is there above all else is because I, I think the main thing it achieves for the story is giving you one additional viable red herring of who's the manipulator. Because that that there's like that relatively short window of time after they're like, there is another person going around with power similar to yours before they show off that it's, it's Yomiel, even though you don't know that's his name yet. And so having if there were no no other characters in the game who showed any if, who showed that was even possible it would feel a little like well who the fuck is that supposed to be yeah, like this is going to no matter yeah chat chat very much thought ray was the manipulator they were they were like evil so did I, that was my way. first guess was like oh okay yeah. He's very pushy about what he wants you to do, right? Like he clearly yeah. has an agenda oh. and is withholding information. Someone, someone in chat. I genuinely think it would have been more satisfying if they never revealed who Ray was, but made it clear he was someone. Hard, complete disagree. Yeah, completely um, disagree. Yeah. I, I think, I think it's very sweet that uh, you get this. Just like I am a pet, and I love my owners enough to stick around for ten years in a junkyard to save the. It's like. It's very nice. It's a nice note for the game to go yeah. out on. Um, Cause you've seen Sissel's determination and Missile has been like a funny little guy. But the fact that it's like, I was the manipulate, like I was the grand chess master who orchestrated this entire game's events being Missile is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. My machinations lay undetected for years. <laughs> how many years? Another, um, another thing that's great when you replay this story, uh, aside from all the little hints of Sissel's identity of it, at least not necessarily being the cat, but not being human or being you know something weird, is um, rewatching like just the opening couple levels where you interact with Ray. It's really interesting watching him push Sissel toward the direct like without ever outright lying per se about what's going on you know saying things like yeah no the truth to your mystery is all tied up with this dead woman and like oh you know, oh, oh, the phone's ringing well keep in mind uh whoever's on the other if that guy 
uh, is talking to someone on the phone. That must be the person who ordered your murder, right? You better investigate that. Like, otherwise he wouldn't have given a shit about the blue people from the beginning, even though it was deliberately misleading because of course they, they didn't order his murder per se. Yeah. So it's fun. There's um there's a, a lot of like, they really hint every aspect of the uh, Sissel is not who he thinks he is twist very, very early because it's like, it's like, it's the second person you save. It's the first person who's not Lynn who comes back to life and they come back as like Cabanella or something because they see him and they're like, you're not that guy, you're this guy. And he changes. So it's like, oh, a spirit will just assume the body of the person they think they are, you say. Well, they did that They did that even before when you first uh, talked to Lynn. She she yeah. originally takes the form of Yomio because ah. that's what she sees. And then it's just it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You don't look like that. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it was just Lynn. That shit's... Like they do it right away. It's very funny. Um, I think you might, I think you're actually both right. I, the way I remember it is the second time you save Lynn when she gets shot with Cabanella there yeah. is that she thinks she's Cabanella and then switches to Lynn. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. The, yeah. Um, the, other, the other thing that I think makes this better than sh other Shu Takumi games is this is a puzzle game primarily where you are not navigating his weird way of writing characters. Mm. Uh, so Jowd would be so frustrating if we were talking to him in court for two hours, right? Mm -hmm. Like He'd be driving us crazy. But the gameplay is not engaged with characters. And also, even when we're reading them, like, man, I, I cannot express enough how reading an Ace Attorney game out loud on stream makes you dislike it way more than you would <laughs> playing it silently. Because obviously yeah. it makes it longer, but also if you're acting, you got to put your brain in the space of like, what would this character be thinking? And you go, why would you do that? Why would you do that? What are you talking about? Over and over again. And Moon! Moon! And this game avoids that. Um... Tell you what this game doesn't avoid. Fucking, huh. Interesting. Oh, do you know something? I can't talk about Yeah, it was a lot worse about that than I remember. Even fucking Lynn is doing that at the start for no goddamn reason. She's just like, I can't tell you. It's a very secret investigation going on tonight. And it's like, I'm a ghost. <laughs> I saved your life. <laughs> like, if, if like an alien showed up and... Would you be like, I'm sorry, I know you just saved my life, alien, but I can't tell you about this small human secret conflict. The alien doesn't give a fuck. They don't have the phone number of the dude you're investigating. Tell the alien. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember in the beginning, was Sissel the cat ever shown off early on? Oh yeah. Yes. So basically um, in, the very first time it appears is early on, around the time Cabanella shows up when the blue fake medical guy is like examining the body. Um, mm -hmm. The cat is just around then and like wanders off. Like, and that's that's Yomiel leaving in the cat's body. Mm -hmm. And then a, sh a little while later, the first time they replay the tape of Lynn shooting quote unquote Sissel, um, it, or not even when they play that part, it's earlier when they're looking at the footage from the security camera, um, they notice the inconsistency of, well, hang on, in the in the first timeline, the, the hitman kicked his body down, but then we got rid of that happening, so why did his body still end up on the couch? And they look at the security footage, and the bag flips open, and the cat gets out, and it knocks the body down. Yeah. Uh, oh, they show I didn't off, remember that. They show off Sissel two or three times uh, at the start of the game, and then, like, one time very briefly in the middle, just to remind you he exists, um, which is great. It's actually the only... Um, the, that second time when they show it, if, you, if you're paying really close attention, you might put together, hey, didn't that cat come out of the bag that Sissel was holding? Why do you have a cat with, like... That's weird. 
what's that about? Um, they don't they don't directly remark on it because they don't want to you know draw too much attention to it. But yeah, I yeah I believe when I was playing this the first time, I did get the cat twist actually because once again, I'm only good at meta twist mystery shit. I'm like, yeah. who else could he be? They keep sh they kept showing off that cat. It's the only option. It's like 60% of the way through the game. I'm like, I'm a cat, aren't I? And then the missile twist knocked me off my ass. I did not see yeah, that no. one coming at all. Um, Pretty much the same boat for me. A missile was not even a little bit on my radar of what the explanation <laughs> for Ray. You, you know what's funny is I remember the first time I played this game, Aaron was like, Aaron played it before me and he was like, oh, you really like this game. And you were like, I love Inspector Cabanella. And I remember being like, I don't like that guy at all. His vibes suck. And you were like, what? And looking back, I'm like, it's weird. I had ire for Cabanella, but I was like totally cool with Jowd and early yeah. act Lin. Like, I don't know why they got, like Jowd is easily the least obstruct. Uh, Lin is, no, the third one. Cabanella is easily <laughs> the least obstructive of all three of those guys. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he gets a little bit of that because he's trying to deliberately conceal information from Lynn in order to keep her from getting involved. Yeah, no, uh, his makes the like, most sense to me. But yeah, no, his is definitely the most explicable of everyone who's, yeah. Because he's like, hey, you are unauthorized investigating a case of like national secrecy. Uh, and also you are on tape shooting a dude tonight. I'm gonna do my best to pull for you, but you really need to not get in any more danger. And I'm obviously not telling you about anything else going on tonight, because if you just shot a guy, telling you the dude who you respect is getting executed early will make you go nuts. Like, it makes complete sense. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of, it, it really is mostly Jowd with the, I, I can't say, that means meatloaf. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> oh, that means meatloaf. Yeah, no. The the Cabanella early on, uh, Lynn is like, Inspector, is it is it tonight? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, baby. And that's like the one I'm gonna deliberately re point blank refuse to answer your basic question that I'm a hundred percent on board with because his reasoning makes perfect sense. Yeah. Bit Which, stupid when of Jowd not to tell Sissel literally anything of Yomiel after Sissel yes. was like, Hey, I saw you painted me. What's up with that? And he's like, Well, I don't know, I don't really I don't know. Yeah, Later. So, someone <laughs> someone in chat was like, Oh, he probably thought that he was Yomiel and he's the manipulator, but then you like he sees Sissel save like four lives and like he's yeah. still withholding shit. It's like, bro. And he's like hanging out with Missile also. <laughs> like, they're just like, we're good guys. Let's play the game again. No. Yeah, uh, I'm immediately going to start another run. Archers only this time. I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wow. Guess, I guess Jowd Hardcore gave up on life. Fucking stupid since he has like a 10 year old daughter. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. It's a good game. It's yeah. it's the best thing in the Shu Takuma verse. <laughs> mm. uh, also, if you've never played Dual Destinies, they don't take any of the ghost shit, obviously. But uh, man, they take a lot of elements from this story. <laughs> so be ready for that, because I played this game within the same year as Dual Destinies, and it hurt my impression of Ghost Trick, which is completely unfair, <laughs> since Ghost Trick came out first and was written by a different dude. <laughs> uh, but Are you I telling me the, the final case of Dual Destinies ends in the fact that a cat did it? Yeah, well, it ends in the fact that Phoenix Wright is a cat. <laughs> okay, ah. okay. It, uh, that parrot you talked to at the end of uh, case 1-4 is actually the manipulator. <laughs> <laughs> would, I, would I like a sequel to Ghost Trick? No fucking way. They should never touch this again. Nope. I agree. No. If, if they ever no did point. if they ever did anything like this, I would I would accept a entirely different unrelated story and set of characters with and the they same basic mechanical yes. premise, but they wouldn't. No, I mean, that, that's what he wanted to do with Apollo Justice, and they were like, no, put Phoenix Wright back in. And he was like, all right, I'll write shit. <laughs> you can have <laughs> that. Uh, and it's like, oh, you want Phoenix Wright? He's a homeless person now, but he's a genius. And 
And then they finally got the reins back from him in Dual Destinies. And they're just like, we're just going to high key retcon all of that. Yeah, um, holy crap. But, uh, no. I think this game uses its mechanics and internal concepts to a really cool degree that I don't think it needs any more exploration. The only thing I was like, I wish they did this more, is I do wish you got Yomiel from the first part of the final little yeah. stretch. I also kind of wish the final stretch was just one puzzle long. Like, I kind of like yeah. the idea of it being like, hey, you fix one thing and it fixes everything. Like, at that point, it's just a victory lap, you know? Like, you just got through the submarine. But um, the this game, in a lot of ways, uh, DS game with good-looking portraits reminds me of The World Ends With You, where I was like, what I wouldn't give for many years for a sequel to The World Ends With You set in a completely different city that also has its own Reapers game and has none of the same characters in it whatsoever. Yeah. And they were like, let's do this thing instead. And my, I haven't played it, but I know my sister, who's like the biggest Twoey stan I've ever met, played it and was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's about what I expected. So I, I think I really that would wish happen game... with Ghost Trick sequel. Sorry, that's it. No, that's fine. I was just saying, I really wish media would learn that it's okay to do a sequel that doesn't follow your characters. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I've bitched about this before. Use but the, the last... first fucking game to set up the setting and the, the yeah. scenarios and shit. Go ahead. Well, God forbid the fucking game. Yeah. And that's why I look at something like The Last of Us and I'm like, the Last of Us 2 should have had nothing to do with Joel and Ellie. It should have been totally different characters or even like, um, oh God, what is it called when it's a bunch of anthology series? Anthology. It, like, yeah, you just like following remember, different Yeah, just You, you need something. to remember, Will, that the characters is all that The Last of Us has. Otherwise, it's just a zombie shooter like all the you're, others. You're right. So they have I, to. It's like, guess. okay, well, we could follow different characters. It's like, okay, so we'll get another different zombie game. Who fucking cares? They yeah, had to. I, I guess. I don't know. I... I think there's a couple of different possibilities. Like if you did the first level where it follows the soldier who shoots Joel and Sarah in the very beginning, like that's your tutorial. So it's like from that perspective, when the uh, infection is first starting, I think that could be an interesting thing to do. Um, and you could branch out from there to follow some it's, of the other characters, but yeah. It's a it's a pretty common problem. Uh, legacy storytelling is a plague on creative everything where, mm -hmm. Uh, because it sells if it's like, I, I think, uh, it, like, I, I haven't engaged directly with any new Star Wars stuff, but I'm a big Jenny Nicholson <laughs> fan, so I li like hearing her talk about it. And I think it's like Rogue One or something, which is just a story about some guys who all die getting the plans to blow, like, the Death Star plans that they used yeah, to blow it up one, yeah. in Act 4. Or Act 4, you know what I mean, Episode 4. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <But> Homestuck <laughs> Act 4. Uh, and... Then at the end of the movie, like Darth Vader shows up for a hot minute and it's like, you know, it's scored triumphantly. Like, look, it's the character you recognize. But like, you know, within that story, Darth Vader is a really bad dude who we don't like if we're, you know, watching yeah. the story on its own. But it's like, here's the thing you recognize. Don't like people put a lot of what's the word for this? People get very excited seeing a thing they recognize and being like, oh, it's all interconnected, which is why they get like so fucking hyped anytime Kingdom Hearts is like, you can fight the ghost of this character as a super boss in this other game or whatever. And they're like, what does it mean? How did they turn into a ghost? Is it a ghost trick? Yeah. Uh, and I, I think executives who make the decisions of what gets greenlit really like safe, boring returns to cast and returns to existing IPs. Looks uh, at Marvel. Which is bad Ooh. because like, the reason, Ghost Trick is fun because it's got really cool twit. Like, I don't dislike the cast of Ghost Trick, but like, the characters aren't really what sells it for me. It's the fun concept, the stylism, and like the twists in the core story. Yep. Uh, a sequel wouldn't work at all for Ghost Trick because there is no world left to conquer for Sissel and Missile, and I don't want to see them again. I, no. I, 
I don't want to interrupt too bad, uh, but I want to say you just jogged an interesting thought in me, which is I think Ghost Trick is one of the only stories I've ever consumed where genuinely the attraction is the plot more than the characters. Mm -hmm. That's really rare for me. And it's honestly really rare for something where the plot is the selling point more than the characters to be good, in my opinion. <laughs> it's just that the twists are so well set up and masterfully executed that it's just very satisfying. And the characters are fine to pretty good. If the characters were insufferable, it still wouldn't work. But, like, they didn't yeah. have to hit super high with them. Yeah, like, I, I just recorded this thing for Patreon that I'll be putting up sometime. Uh, I actually have to edit it a little bit because uh, I got to put some songs in it. But there's this series of uh, extended horror comedy musicals by Starkid called Hatchet Field, and I like watched all their extended material. And essentially, they've got like it was originally going to be a trilogy, but they had this break because of the pandemic. But they didn't want to do nothing, so they made these like little guidance stories that expanded some characters and whatever. And essentially, it went from being these like original musicals to like an expanded Goosebumps verse where they're all written hmm. like Goosebumps episodes. And to my disappointment, the third musical was written a little more Goosebumpsy than originally. And watching the little mini series, which was called Nightmare Time. So many of the episodes are like, it's this character, here's their thing. And those episodes are like universally the worst ones. It'll be like, it's this guy from the coffee shop in the background of the first musical, remember him? And it's like, yeah, I don't care about him. And there's a couple episodes that are like, here's a totally new cast. And those are the best ones. Universally, they're the best episodes. And it's like, I wish more creators and more, uh, especially more studios and publishers would just trust to be like, hey, you did a good thing once. I bet you can do it again if we give you some level of free reign to make a new thing. Like, have you seen that article going around where it's like, people are trying to figure out how to make an extended Lord of the rings averse in the way they're doing yeah. Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, no, it's, like, it's fucking disgusting. Make new stuff. It's yeah. fine. Just, there's new ideas. <laughs> you can do it. Anyway. Do we have any final thoughts about Ghost Trick? As good. Game good. Have fun. Game yeah, good. Have game fun. Good. Uh, we we did also get uh, a couple cute little fan arts from someone, what? so I'll no. I'll, I'll throw game them in in our, our chat. Um, uh, these, uh, these come from uh, someone named Flair over at our surprise round uh, server. Oh, yeah. Are you able to show them on screen, Joe? No, I don't want to set that up. So, uh, <laughs> but I can I can post them in the chat. Yeah, if uh, links oh. are allowed. Uh, I can try and to prove them. It doesn't like give me a yes or no. I think they just don't appear. There's that. If I see no. it, I'll accept it, but I don't, which is You weird. don't? Oh, I posted them. Oh, uh, in the Twitch or, you know, whatever it is, chat. In the YouTube chat, yeah. Nah, I don't see it. Oh shit, sorry, game. Um, anyway. But thank you, Flair. Uh, so next week, don't have anything planned. And then the two weeks after that, Yam is visiting me and we're not going to be streaming. Uh, I don't know what the next game will be. I don't even know if it'll be Monday, <gasps> but at some point, Will and I will probably be around to finish Evil West. Get out yeah! Yeah. yeah! So yeah, anyone have anything to plug or are we good? Thank Aww. you for being here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being here. All right. Yep. This was fun. Yeah. That was the ghost trick. Bye. Ghost trick. Bye. Bye. Real ghost.